In this video, we'll be looking into the sentence and sentential form topic. So, firstly, understanding the definition of sentence. So, let G be a context-free grammar, which could be represented as VTPS. Like these are the four tuples, we know it, right? So, let's take uh, any string W belonging to V union T star, which is derivable which is derivable from the start symbol start symbol s such that s derives w is called as sentence so let's take an example here so e E plus C, the production, let's write the productions here, E plus C and E star E and ID. E, now let's write ID here. So uh, we can start the uh, derivation. So first E derives E plus C. Let's do the LMD leftmost derivation. So this E needs to be changed here. W we require is ID plus ID star ID. So this needs to be changed ID plus E. So this is from let's take this productions P1, P2, P3. So this was from production P3. And next step would be ID plus E needs to be split as E star E. This is from production P2. Our next step is ID plus this E needs to be changed. We will write it as ID star E. This is from P3. Again ID plus ID star ID. This is from P3. So the final string of terminals we have obtained that is id plus id star id. So this is called sentence of grammar. So uh, we have to understand that uh, there are two sentential forms. Called as left sentential form and the other one is right sentential form now let's look into this one by one so first let's see what left sentential form is so if there's uh, if there's a derivation of the form s derives alpha where each step in the derivation process only a leftmost variable is replaced then it is called a left sentential form so let's look at the example uh, let's write the grammar first e derives e plus c slash e star e slash bracket e slash id so these are the four productions which we have let's name it as p1 p2 p3 and p4 so like like how we did in the previous uh, question it's the same here also so leftmost derivation for this, let's write LMD. So first we'll write E plus C, that is P1. Then uh, here W which we need to obtain is ID plus ID star ID. So this is the final string which we need to get. So I'll write it, uh, as uh, I'll write all the steps now. ID plus C. Then we have ID plus E star E. Then we have id plus id star e. Then we have id plus id star id. 
so in the uh, in this in the above leftmost derivation the string of grammar symbols are obtained in each step such as uh, this e plus e is changed to id first the leftmost is changed right then this e is changed then this e is changed so this sort of uh, like derivation lmd derivation in the sentential uh, topic is referred as left sentential form so similarly if we take right sentential form so if there's any derivation of the form s derives alpha where at each step in the derivation process only the right most non terminal is replaced and then alpha is called as uh, the right sentential form of g so let's take the same grammar here i'll do the rightmost derivation rmd so first e plus e from p1 then i'll change this rightmost we'll get e plus e star e then i'll change this e plus e star id then i'll change this e plus id star id i'll change this id plus id star id so in the above rightmost derivation the string of grammar symbols are obtained in each step such as like first this is changed then this is changed then this is changed so these are uh, the variables uh, like all these depict the right sentential form of the given grammar so i hope the sentence and sentential form topic is clear if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you